Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving into OneDrive Personal Vault, a fantastic feature that adds an extra layer of security for your sensitive files. By the end of this video, you'll know how to set it up and use it efficiently on Windows 11. Let's get started. What is OneDrive Personal Vault? And OneDrive Personal Vault is a protected area in your OneDrive account that requires strong authentication like a fingerprint, pin, or code sent to your email or phone. It's perfect for storing documents like passports, tax records, or any sensitive files. Key features, enhanced security uses encryption and uh, multi-factor authentication, automatic lock, automatically locks after a period of inactivity, accessible anywhere, use it on your Windows 11 PC, web browser, or mobile device. Well, inside the OneDrive folder, find the personal vault icon. It looks like a small vault door. Double click to open it. Uh, you will see a welcome screen. Click on the next button to continue. Click the allow button in the permission window to continue. Next, OneDrive will prompt you to verify your identity using an OPT or another enabled secondary authentication method. Complete the verification process and click the Verify button to proceed. Once setup is complete, your personal vault is ready to use. It'll create a special folder inside OneDrive where you can add files. Drag and drop files into the personal vault folder. Or right click a file. Select move to or copy to and choose the personal vault folder. Afterward, close the File Explorer window. The Personal Vault will automatically lock after five minutes of inactivity. Alternatively, you can manually lock it by right-clicking on the Personal Vault, then selecting OneDrive followed by Lock Personal Vault. And that's it. You're now ready to securely store your sensitive files in OneDrive Personal Vault. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next tech tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.